Okay, we're here with Jim Horman in a barn. And Jim, you like to use the barn as an example of what uh, soil structure is. Yes, uh, you can use a barn or a house or a shed. And, and generally when you build a, a house or a barn, you'll start with your foundation. And, and the foundation in the soil is the sand, the silt, and the clay. Uh, that's the, the uh, parent material. Yep. And uh, that is very solid, it's very dense. And so uh, on a ha brick house, you would have bricks on the outside. But as you look at this barn and you look around, You'll notice that there's a lot of pore space here. So 50% of a house or a barn is actually pore space, but what gives it structure? And what we're looking at here is, is all the wood, and the wood is the organic matter in the soil. So it gives uh, a barn its structure, but carbon by itself is very flexible. So if we demonstrate that with a, a sponge, you can, you can move this around. So to give it more uh, rigidity, uh, nitrogen and sulfur, have double and triple bonds, so you can see the bracing in here. So nitrogen and sulfur kind of act like uh, the double bonds to give uh, carbon its more, give it more structure. And I like to say that the uh, phosphorus in the soil, and we can demonstrate that again, if we have a clay particle on the outside and we have the organic matter, the phosphorus acts like a lag screw. It's gonna attach this clay particle to the organic matter. Now we also have some uh, nails, and we have some uh, uh, bolts, and what, in most of our soils, we have humus in the soil, so these, the humus has been around for a long, long time, 10,000, 100,000 years, and so it's been decomposed, and it has a lot of rigidity, so uh, it's very important to have the humus in the soil, but what most of our soils are lacking is the organic matter, the active organic matter. And so that's like the glomulin, the polysaccharides, uh, the glycoproteins, and that's kind of like the insulation that we put into soil to kind of wrap that house and to make it a, a nice place to live. Now you'll also notice that we have a roof, uh, and the roof performs a very important function in the soil. Uh, if we have tillage or something like a tornado that would take our roof off, what would happen to the interior of our house if we didn't replace that roof? Pretty soon the water would come in and then it would rot out the wood and then everything would collapse. In the soil, it's not so much the water, it's too much oxygen. Uh, excessive oxygen in the soil uh, causes the organic matter to decompose very quickly. And then what happens is your soils start to cave in and so it starts to crumble. And uh, then, then our soils become more dense. All right. Well, thank you very much for uh, your explanation. Okay. I think more analogies that we have of yeah. some of the scientific things going on is the better for us. Yeah.